What is up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, sorry. I just, uh... <sighs> I guess forward facing is probably better or facing me is probably better because I really, really want to thank you guys for all of the information. I mean, you guys reached out to so many channels that I had never even heard of and asked them to get a hold of me and they did. And just the information that they provided some of it we hadn't thought of, some of it we were already doing, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the community, and that's what I've said a million times, why we do this, people helping people. And you guys have just been absolutely phenomenal. And helping is not always providing a link to information or providing information. Helping, as you guys know, I mean, we're all adults here. And if you're not and you're a child, Understand that helping sometimes is literally supporting someone with with just comments. You know, we're thinking about you. Love you guys. Um, people are saying we're, we take amazing care of our goats. That kind of all that kind of stuff lifts lifts you up. Uh, kind of gives you hope and energy and just inspiration to, to just keep doing and keep pushing and even though we lost her um we were going to fight right to the end and we did fight right to the end to to make sure that she that we were providing her with everything we possibly could the 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 hardest part was i mean you guys a couple of the hardest parts you guys being there and supporting us and, and getting in the comments and thanking us and just lifting us up is unbelievable you don't you don't actually know me you know my youtube me um and you kind of know us and you and you learn things about people's character and their and their personalities from how they live their life and how they treat their animals and what they try to do in life. So you, you kind of know us from that aspect. But to be honest, one of the hardest parts of creating YouTube for me in the beginning was, I know you guys are out there and I know you guys are listening and we love that. And, and it's just, again, it's so uplifting, but put yourself standing right here holding this camera. It's this weird thing. I'm alone with the goats. I'm alone. I'm alone in this barn. There's no other person sitting here. Now, H was over here with me a lot. Um, Saturday, we sat here. <laughs> if you guys have ever... Um, had a person pass in your life or, or know somebody who passed and it's one of those the person their their spouse is telling the story maybe at the funeral how they sat up and talked that night for six hours straight something they had never done in 20 years but they just sat that night and they talked and they talked and they talked. And then that person passed away that next morning or something. Um, H and I, for the first time in a long time, with everything we have going on, we just, we just sat over here. And we just sat in that stall and we just loved on licorice and we were talking to her. I believe very strongly that she could hear us just like a person and that gives her 
inspiration or hope or drive or whatever. And so, I mean, we haven't done that in forever. And we just sat and we just talked with her and petted her. And we talked. And um, and then she passed away yesterday morning. I still always, uh, I'm not sure whether, whether them waiting for you. It's, it's much harder on my end, obviously, when that happens. Um, I had come over here and I had done all the chores and I had uh, turned the camera on and I was, I was watching her and she, she threw her head back and she had done so well the day before. She, she, she lifted her head up and I thought, oh my goodness, she's, she's lifting her head. Cause I had full hope all the way to the end. And I thought, man, she's lifting her head. That's awesome. But then I, then it hit me, man. That's, that's the death throw. And that's when you hear me. I'm sorry for the, I'm not sorry for the 57 no's. Um, I don't, I'm not a panic person. And my brain doesn't normally lock into just no, 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 no. Trying to get my gloves on as fast as I can, trying to get to her. Um, you get a little bit of, uh, uh, I don't want to say desensitized to it, but it kind of is what it is when you, I didn't edit that video much guys. I just cut out some, I sat here for probably 30 minutes petting her and I, so I cut a bunch of that out, but, uh, watching the video back, there's really, there was a point when she cranked her head around and she, the, when, her, when, when, when she, right about the time I was getting my gloves on and she kind of dropped her head back forward and you could just see her eye was just wide open. That, that's when she passed. That's, I know from watching it 50 times back, that's, that's when she passed. And I have watched the video back and I, watch the other videos back and I just look for every single tiny detail that might have helped me learn something in case this ever happens again. So, um, thank you guys that, and I'm not asking for anything and I've never asked for anything. Uh, thanks to you guys who sent money, uh, via the PayPal link for vet bills. So that's something nice that's just covered. We don't have to think about that. Uh, so the vet bills are covered. And we had actually some leftovers, so we'll be able to replenish all of our, uh, like our B-complex and all the syringes and stuff we were using for, let's see, two, four, four uh, syringes and needles a day. And we usually buy those by the box of 100, so we had plenty, but we, we always, when you guys send us money, we don't go to McDonald's. Um, it goes, we just save it back, and then when we, it's there if we need to, or when we get to town and we can buy more syringes and needles and things like that. So thank you for that. Thank you, Heather, for sending another roll fence. Uh, you may have sent two. I'm not sure. It came on two separate days. One of the boxes had a thank you or a, uh, a note card in it with your name on it. The other one had no note card in it. So I don't know if it was from you or someone else. But thank you, guys. We are still fencing. Um, I'm down to about right there so i've gone all the way around the horn and i'm down to this area right here so we'll just go on down to the corner down there and then across the creek and we'll be done and they'll they'll have pasture i'm going to put in let me turn you guys back around i don't want to talk about it too much i've dealt with it all weekend and <clears throat> um you don't think about those little things in your life. Like I still have to make soap and I haven't made soap, uh, since Thursday of last week, maybe even Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. I know you guys don't care. And at the end of the day, I don't care. It was more important for me to be over here, spending my time setting with licorice, doing everything we possibly could with her for her than making soap. So if we're a little light in March, sorry, um, <laughs> get what you can get. <laughs> I love you guys. And I, I love that you support us, but you know, as well as I do, there are more important things in life. 
And for us, that that important time was spent with Licorice. We, she just was such an amazing, such an amazing girl. And, uh, you know, at least with her, we have Gummy, who's her daughter. And we have Toots running around here somewhere. Tootsie Toots. Toots is out here, who is also her daughter. And um, Jelly, who's making out with Cookie. Mr. Gelato is her son, so it's fortunate that we kept him. So that's Gelato right there. And, uh, but why? But, <laughs> and you know what's nice is goats are like dogs and I always tell you guys that and they know when you're down and, uh, they were just surrounding us all weekend as we were sitting over here. Good morning. Her favorite, favorite spot. She's usually over about a foot and a half, two feet that way. Maybe the sun's better right there. Maybe it's the day and time of the year. Um, <clears throat> so thank you guys. I, I cannot just, no matter how many times I say thank you, just understand it. I don't feel like I thank you enough for all the support that you have given us with licorice even just the, the, the just i'm not gonna dwell on it i already said everything you guys know how i am i'll say the same thing 500 times because i tried to you know fully express how much it really 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 meant to us for you guys to support us over the weekend thank you okay back to the fencing and then i gotta go because i gotta make <laughs> a bazillion pounds of soap um so I'm down to there, right about there somewhere. And like I said, we'll go down to the corner and we'll jump the creek. I do worry, you guys know we flood at least once a year. So I worry about how the fence structure is gonna hold up. We will flood, that's a guaranteed. I thought about putting a breakaway over the uh, bridge right there, cause that's one of the places we flood the most. Like a... <laughs> Something where if there's too much tension on it, it will pull away and the creek can flood through there. Uh, so I don't know yet about that. I'm going to take this gate style that I've done here. I'm gonna, we have cattle panels laying around and I'm going to use the yellow clamps that are on that post. And just make a simple gate there and one here so that the gas company has access to their gas line. There's about a 12 inch gas pipe that runs down through there, natural gas, and uh, they need to have access to that. Although it was kind of funny the last few times that I've seen them come out, the guy trying to uh, jump the electric fence without touching his personal bits on the fence and getting zapped. <laughs> but what I don't want is him trying to jump over my hard fence and damage it. So. That's where we are, guys. The stall was cleaned, 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 cleaned to the 10th degree. Spent my whole day yesterday. That's what I did was uh, bury a goat and clean this barn. And so I'm going to let it rest. I already got, I got hay in there. I'm going to let it rest. There's no, I have no concern that there's any issue with any uh, listeria in there. She was on the... I had scraped off everything except the bottom four inches of deep litter and put down all new, nice, fresh hay in there for her. So she was on that top layer of everything. And I have removed the entire everything from the stall. So I have no concerns with putting any goats in here. I fed a uh, cookie and sprinkles in here this morning. I took all the containers out that licorice had touched in any manner or that I had touched while touching her, bleached those down, and then I left them set in the sun. Uh, the sun will do amazing things to kill anything, especially on a cold, hard, dry surface like plastic. So, uh, so cleaned out the entire barn, took all the hay out of the ring, went clear down to the floor, swept everything, uh, 
lied the entire floor and then put brand new, fresh, clean hay back in the bin. So that's, or the hay ring. Uh, I mean, I, if, <laughs> I use probably 40 pounds of barn lime in here everywhere, just everywhere. So that's where we are and that's what we're doing. And that is me for the day, guys. And again, thank you so very, 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 very much. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow.